Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Spider-Man PS4. Last time, we were Miles, and we outsmarted a Rhino. This time, we are gonna take on some heavy hitters. Possibly some other stuff. Alright. See you guys when we're about 200 meters from the little mission. Hey, MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Coming through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cause. You now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Alright. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, punk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means an asshole. All of my big means an egg. Come here, Rhino, Rhino, Rhino. Uh oh. For these particular means, freedom, true freedom. No more you, no more rhino. Come here, rhino, rhino, rhino. Wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorch, love you, but you do know it's rude to come in, right? What were you gonna do if I did it? Beg him to keep up? Yes, Scott. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Gargan? Where is Scorpio? Believe it or not, I'm actually a Scorpio. So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the We Murdered Spider-Man and used to work for a blanket? Target, please! You embarrass yourself! Where is he? Come on, Scorpion! Ah, there you are. Keep talking, stupid! I'll take 
care of you. Ah! I finished the fuck. <laughs> you idiot. Get him. Take care of Scorpion first, just because he's kind. His poison can kind of Rhino be a pain in the ass. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Ouch. Cub. Whoa, that was glitchy. Crap. You know what? Let's try electricity. Ow. I don't squash bug myself. Rhino stunt. Time for fists of fury. Stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. All right. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Alright. There's no need to cut away since we're so close. This is Naval Control, requesting status update from Museum Miles. Observation post established. Target. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Man. Jonah's... Jonah's kind of awesome. Something tells me this is also going to be kind of a long episode. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. I need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. That guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. 
Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember... Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. I like how people complain about this, but she's not hitting them in the armor. She's hitting them in the cloth, I guess is the white part of like the side, you know, the white part there. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. Okay, that one Aren't I can't. Sure Sable offers workman's comp. That one I can't really defend. He, she definitely hit him in the arm. Elevator armor. controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Okay, I'm, I'm just now imagining her as a agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Alright, as we go upstairs, I think that's where I'm going to end this video off, because if I didn't, this would be another 20-something minute episode, and <sighs> I, I don't want to edit too many of those. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire it. Alpha team, stay alert. Stupid useless button. Hmm. 